In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked, broken LCD screen on the Ricoh GR Digital 1, 2, 3, 4 and the new GRD series. So, as you can see here, I'm powering on this and this has this cracked screen in the corner which extend all the way through the top and the other corner and I'm going to replace it with a new LCD screen that I purchased first I have to disassemble the camera first the tools you need are a tweezer Phillips screwdriver with a small head and a, a small flat head screwdriver and here let's start with unscrewing some of the screws from the camera first from the side of the LED you want to loosen the screw and remove it make sure you don't lose these tiny screws as they're very small and if they fall on the ground it will be difficult to find them so and work my way to the bottom and as you can see this bottom side screw is longer than the side screw there are I think one two three visible screws not the screw. So just put it back here. And remove the battery. And here now you want to work your way to the top to where the mounting bracket is. Just use a small screwdriver flat headed insert here and just lift it up and push it and you can see this covering plate is now loose. It's actually um, this, this thing here. Remove it and there are four more screws in stainless steel color. Have to remove them. So now the mounting bracket, bracket will come off like this. Put it aside, the four screws. And it's not immediately obvious, but you have another screw that you need to remove from under the grip here. This is the gripping rubber and it hides one of the screws which you need to remove in order to in order to remove this so first remove this part now you can see there's tape covering the screw here so gently lift the tape to expose As you can see this this camera is from 2009 and now it's 2015 so some of this glue are not as, as good as when it was new it's kind of, I think there's another one here so I think there's one underneath here yes so there were two screws on the side covered by the tape underneath the grip so we need to remove this one as well put it on my left side okay so now uh, 
it's kind of sticky. Okay. Now that's off. I can remove the back side, but be careful because there are some ribbon cables on the inside still attached that you need to remove before pulling this. So let me show you here. You can see first this this flip ribbon cable. Grab your tweezers and beginning and you could actually flip this and when you put it back just have to line them up and push it back gently inside. So if I'm going to put it back, make sure I insert this and then flip it back down. So this mechanism keeps it locked in place. All right, now I'm going to have to remove this thing here, which is attached to these controls on the back. I'm going to, to try not to touch the body part of this camera. And so I'm going to move, remove more screws from this side. That's covering the control buttons. One. Two. Okay, first remove this cover here, see if I can, oh, there's another one, I didn't see this in the corner, six, okay, so now this control board is exposed together with this thing here, actually it's glued onto the other side, and I can just Gently remove the glue from the copper part. This way, this is free. So I can work just on this LCD back panel. I keep this here as is. And to remove the LCD, I need to first loosen this conducting tape because it's kind of it's glued onto the LCD back back of the LCD itself so I'm going to remove this conducting tape gently and you can just lift the frame now I am going to push LCD let's see I'm pretty sure there's some kind of mechanism that keeps it in place Just have to work with it gently. You don't have to worry so much about breaking it since this thing is already kind of cracked anyway. Okay, it is kind of glued. Yes, in fact, that's why it was harder to remove because you see this double sided tape here and here that was holding the LCD in place. And this LCD is made by Sony with a part number of 32960258. And I'm going to just remove this. Okay. So now 
there goes the broken LCD. Put it aside. And now I'm going to grab this new LCD, which is still inside the bag. Open. Remove it from the bag. Now first I'm going to peel the protective plastic from the LCD and then make sure I insert it with the correct orientation with the rib ribbon connector on this side and be careful not to scratch it. Right here and put the conductive tape back on its back okay and make sure i push the frame to fill the space now i'm ready to put back the other parts and the first part will be the control buttons so, as you've seen earlier, I match them up like this and glue the ribbon cable back in place. All right, and just kind of hold on to it or grab a little box or some kind of book so it would stay underneath this while I work on it so I'm, I'm going to use a box here this way I don't have to hold it while I'm working on it now I'm going to get these screws Secure the steel plate that holds the control buttons in place. Oh, actually, that's not the right one. So I put it here. three more that I have to put in here so just have to screw them carefully it's not too difficult the good thing about working on this LCD replacement is that I actually didn't have to touch any part of the front of the camera which made my work a lot easier But I expect putting back this ribbon into this con uh, socket will be a little bit challenging considering it's got this flip down mechanism. So this, now this is the last screw that keeps this in place. Okay, now I have all these things in place. I can Connect the ribbon carefully. Let's see. Oh, interesting. You can see here's the capacitor right here. This is what gives the flash its instantaneous power, and this is where it's stored. So be careful, don't touch it because it might be charged. And it's a very high voltage. And first, I'm going to Get 
flip open. Make sure I flip open this connector here and then match align the connector, align the connector and use the tweezer to insert the connector into the socket. Okay, now seems like it's pushed in place. And I can just flip down this top flap here and secure in place. Okay, now I can put back all the other screws that I've removed. So one thing that you need to pay attention to, once you have loosened the screws on the side, what happens is that there is a piece of steel plate, as you can see from here, I'll give you a better angle, that acts as the uh, screw holder. So you see, it's actually movable. So if I remove both screws, that piece of plate becomes loose. So if I were to shift the camera downward, you see the holes are now no longer aligned. If I take a closer look right here. Instead, now you can see it's movable. So this piece of steel plate can sometimes drop all the way down, like on this side. You hear the sound? So now the, the piece of plate is inside here and you have to bring it back to get it aligned. Okay, now you can see you can see the plates here. You see the holes are somewhat aligned. Let's make it align a little bit more and keep the camera in this position. And I'm going to put, put the cover back first. To match up without. I have to be careful how I'm going to bend the ribbon cables. First match up the top part. And then close. Okay, close it. And before I even try to put back the screws, I would like to see if this is working. So I'm gonna put the camera battery inside. Make this as well. Okay, look there. It's working. So now I can reassemble it without worrying about it may not work after I close everything and that I have to reopen it. So I'm just going to put all the screws back starting from the side. <laughs> 